Welcome to Blackboard Basics for Instructors Part 3, Grading and Retention. Now that we've created gradable material, let's learn about the Grade Center. You can access different views of the Grade Center by expanding the Grade Center section on the Course Management menu. Needs Grading is where instructors can begin grading assignments, tests, blogs, and discussions. Full Grade Center is the default view, which displays all columns and rows in the Grade Center. Smart Views, like assignments and tests, are a focused look at the Grade Center and shows only the data that matches a set of criteria. In the full Grade Center, there are various menus. These include Icon Legend, Display Options, Create Columns, Manage, Report, Column Actions, and Cell Actions. In the lower right corner, the Icon Legend shows you icon descriptions. You are most likely to see Column Not Visible to Users, Needs Grading, Override, and Attempt in Progress. Below that, you can choose the minimum rows displayed in the Grade Center. Now let's look at Grade Center functions. Create Column allows you to create a grade column. This could be used for outside assignments and participation grades. Create Calculated Column options include Total Column, Weighted Column, Average Column, and Minimum Maximum Column. The Manage button allows you to edit and add grading schemas, categories, and use column organization. The Reports button allows you to create reports from the Grade Center data. Each column has an Options menu at the top. This menu will allow you to download files, view statistics, and edit column information. Each cell also has an Options menu. Hover your mouse in the cell, click on the arrow button, and choose an option. Continuing with basics, we'll learn how to grade an assignment and view a test attempt. After clicking on an attempt in a cell options menu, you can grade an assignment. You can annotate, give feedback, and assign a grade. You can also use a cell options menu to view a test attempt. Click on the cell options menu, then the attempt. On the test attempt screen, expand the test information section to view more details and the access log. Then scroll down to see questions and student answers. Here, you can change the point value that is automatically assigned. Next is the Retention Center. It helps you discover which students in your course are at risk. Access the Retention Center by expanding the Evaluation section on the lower left menu. Then choose Retention Center. There are default rules in the Retention Center like missed deadlines, grade alerts, activity alerts, and access alerts. You can also create your own to monitor student engagement and participation. To create your own, click the Customize button in the top right corner. To review, Grade Center basics include icons which can be found in the icon legend, menus for columns and for cells, grading, student attempts can be viewed for needs grading or a cell menu, and retention, the retention center can help instructors identify at-risk students. Thank you for viewing Blackboard Basics for Instructors. For more information, visit our website, cit.ua.edu.